1983, there were five serial murders at large in Los Angeles. But the most terrifying of all was the one the media dubbed the Night Stalker. He was terrifying. His move was to invade homes in the middle of the night and leave dead bodies and blood all over the place when he left. He was responsible for the deaths of at least 16 people. Big scares. Richard Ramirez born February 29, 1960, El Paso, Texas. U.S. Ramirez grew up in El Paso, Texas, the youngest of five children born to Mexican immigrants to the United States. His dad treated him poorly. He would tie him to a cross in a graveyard overnight as a form of punishment. He attended Theodore Roosevelt High School in the Boyle Heights section of Los Angeles but quit in the ninth grade. His diet at that time, which was to lead to the horrendous condition of his teeth, was junk food. It was a diet so rich in sugar that it rotted his teeth and made his breath foul. He continued to smoke and chalked up his first arrest for drug possession. Later, Richard's association with his cousin Mike aided his development into a madman. Mike was a Vietnam vet and member of the Special Forces, who showed Richard pictures of the killing and torture of Vietnamese women. Ultimately, Mike murdered his wife while the 12 year old Ramirez watched an event that had a profoundly negative effect on Ramirez. Around this time, Ramirez began breaking into homes. After dropping out of high school, he moved to Los Angeles. He continued to commit crimes and he was also was stealing and was arrested twice for stealing cars. First in Pasadena in 1981 and then in Los Angeles in 1984. In June 1984, near Glassell Park, Ramirez committed his first known murder, raping and stabbing a 79-year-old widow. Eight months later, a six-year-old Montebello girl was abducted from a bus stop and her sexually abused body was found in Silver Lake on February 25th. The next victim of the Night Stalker was a 90-year-old girl, and for some reason, his pattern differed with this crime. He abducted her from her bedroom, raped her, and dropped her in a Lejean park. On March 17th, the Night Stalker began a horrifying murder spree, entering the condo of 34-year-old Dale Okazaki and Mara Hernandez, shooting Okazaki to death and wounding Hernandez. In Monterey Park he pulled 30-year-old. Tsilian Yu from her car and shot her multiple times. Yu died the next day, while the Night Stalker was in the middle of abducting and raping a girl from Eagle Rock. But something good for the police came out of this spree of violence. Hernandez, who survived, was able to provide a description of the killer. She described him as having a long, gaunt face, black stringy hair and wide-spaced teeth that were brown and rotted out, which ultimately would be traced to the killers subsisting on candy. The police were still playing their cards close to the vest, not saying whether the murders were related. Things got weirder when the Night Stalker invaded the home of Vincent Zatsara and his wife, Maxine, on March 27. Zatsara was pummeled to death and his wife stabbed to death but the killer also cut out the eyes of the woman and left with them. Next, William Doy of Monterey Park was shot in the head, but his dying action of calling the police saved his wife. Over the summer, the Night Stalker killed eight more people of varying ages. On August 6, Christopher Peterson and his wife, Virginia, were wounded in their Northridge home. And then there were two more killings and the description of the killer matched the description the Petersons had given of their attacker. The police finally announced they were looking for a serial killer who was responsible for a lot of murders. Then the Night Stalker traveled to San Francisco, and on August 17th broke into the home of Peter and Barbara Pan. 
Peter was shot and killed, but his wife survived the shooting and provided sketches to police of the Night Stalker. Then, a big break came. In Mission Viejo on August 22, 29 year old Bill Carnes was shot in the head and his fiancée raped, and the Night Stalker drove away in their car. The car was abandoned and recovered by the police, along with fingerprints. The prints lead police to 25-year-old Richard Ramirez, who was from Texas and had compiled a lengthy rap sheet for drug offenses. Police questioned people who knew him and learned that he was an avowed Satanist who was crazed. About the music group. And one of the band's songs, Night Prowler had become a sort of anthem for Ramirez. The police spread his picture everywhere, and now the citizenry had a face to go along with the nickname. Foolishly, Ramirez stayed in Los Angeles, where he had committed most of the murders. He wandered into East Los Angeles, where he was identified by Hispanic locals as he tried to steal a car and was run down and half bitten to death before police, who had been summoned, saved his life. He was held in jail and charged with 14 counts of murder. Judgments Authorities took Ramirez, a suspect who had terrorized the region for months, into custody that day. It wasn't until 1989 that he would be found guilty for 13 counts of murder, 5 counts of attempted murder, 11 sexual assaults, and 14 burglaries. He was sentenced to die in California's gas chamber. Following his sentencing, he was escorted past cameras, to which he said, Hey, big deal, death always comes with the territory. I'll see you in Disneyland. Ramirez died in custody from B. Cell lymphoma in 2013 before facing the gas chamber. He was 53 years old. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.